All right, everybody. So this is my Black Widow review. Went and saw it last night in IMAX. We haven't seen a Marvel movie in like almost, or I think over two years. I don't go to IMAX much, so I did the IMAX thing on purpose. Like, here we go, back at it, and it was awesome. I would say out of all the Marvel movies, it has more of a Winter Soldier vibe. But it's still different on its own, like, it has its own vibe. It was very action-packed, it was funny, it had emotional parts, for sure. And I want to say it was one of the more violent Marvel movies. It was, there's some stuff in there that I was like, whoa, that was kind of violent. <laughs> so, the plot of the movie is about Natasha, it picks up right after Civil War. She didn't sign the Accords, and even though she helped Captain America at the end, she still didn't sign the Accords. The government's after her because of all that that went down. So she's on the run, and we also get some like backstory on her family. And it turns out that you know Black Widow, one of her things was she thought she like took down the thing that made her that way. It turns out she didn't. There's still more Black Widows being made. And her sister was one of them. Now they team up and they're gonna take this thing down. Taskmaster is the villain. Sort of. I mean, I assume that y'all seen the trailers. Y'all seen that there's like the old man that like talks to Taskmaster and stuff. Old man's like the main bad guy, but Taskmaster does all the fighting, you know? And I thought Taskmaster was pretty cool. Scarlett Johansson, great job leading. I don't know why we're just now getting her movie. I mean, it fits in well, but it's like, she could have definitely held up her whole movie the whole time everyone else was. And then Florence Pugh does a good job. We expect to see more of her because she's young, and I'm excited to see more of her in the future MCU. David Harbour kills it, steals the show. So good. He... He was hilarious, but like when he wanted to be heartfelt, he really was. And just seeing the Red Guardian in the suit, and it's funny because it's like, he's super soldier, Russian Captain America, Captain Russia, I shouldn't say Russian Captain America. So like we get to see him and use some of his strength and his powers, really cool. And hopefully we'll get to see more of him he didn't die by the end of the movie. That's not really a spoiler, but so maybe he'll come back around. The mom was I. I didn't care her character too much. Also, Black Widow's friend, her tech guy. It's like, who's this? <laughs> like they keep talking like they've known each other this whole time, and it's like I don't remember this guy. I mean, he seems cool. He seems fine. If you're a Marvel fan, you gotta go watch this movie. That's what I'm saying. So. Let's just jump into them spoilers right quick because we got some things to talk about. The biggest reveal of the movie, I'm guessing, is Taskmaster being Dracop's daughter. I didn't really see it coming, not until like it was being set up to be revealed. I had kind of figured it out. I do expect to see more of her because it didn't kill her. And now she's gonna have like this arc where like she's been brainwashed this whole time. I don't really know what they'll do with her because like she's got that chip to where she can like memorize everything so I'm hoping she doesn't end up like the government taking her and using her as a weapon and now she can the chip I think it was overrided because Black Widow said you know you, you can be yourself now and like all that I don't really know where I think Taskmaster will show up after credit scene post credit scene whatever you call it Valentina is that her name shows up we know her from Falcon and Winter Soldier, even though this was supposed to come out first. And it turns out Yelena works for her. I was expecting I was expecting Valentina to show up to work with Taskmaster. Because I thought she was putting the Thunderbolts together. So that Yelena is working for her. Don't necessarily know what's going on. But the Hawkeye thing. Oh my gosh. It's been rumored that Florence Pugh was gonna be in Hawkeye. And I think we just got our confirmation. Time for me to start heading to work. So like I was saying, Florence Pugh definitely being set up to be the new Black Widow. I'm excited, she did a really good job. I liked that Alexi's like 
thinking big enemy was Captain America, and then when he gets to face off against Taskmaster, he was using like Captain America moves. So he was like kind of getting a rematch. And one thing I was told, I gave my friends a list of things I wanted to see in the movie. Two of them came true. Budapest, there was like a little clip of a scene. I wanted to see Hawkeye. That was, I guess that was true. I didn't see him. He wasn't necessarily in it. I wanted to see her dye her hair blonde because I wanted it to match up with Infinity War. We didn't see her actually dye it. When it showed the dye at the beginning, I was like, oh, I'm going to get it. But, I mean, we at least got to see her with the blonde hair. Well, turns out she went with Rogers to break them out of prison. I want them to do, like, another <laughs> in-between pool with Scarlett Johansson. Like, maybe do, like, Secret Avengers or something. Like, I'm just not ready to give her up. That was another thing. I didn't really feel like this movie was a send-off to her. But I know that she technically died in Endgame, so that's the send-off. Like, I made this afterwards. So I feel like there's supposed to be something, like, emotionally. And I just didn't, didn't really, like, feel that. My roommate said it's top 10 Marvel movies. I'm gonna have to make a list. I don't know if it's top 10, but it was really good. So, that's my Black Widow review. If you want me to set and talk about something else, just leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment what you thought about the movie, because I like hearing movie opinions. And I'll see you next time.